Hi, I'm Professor William Decker and I have a few prepared remarks that I'd like to share with you. I'm a basic biomedical researcher in the Texas Medical Center with extensive expertise in the use of the immune system to treat cancer. This is the field that today we call immuno-oncology. Right now is an historically exciting time in clinical oncology. Less than 10 years ago, most doctors would have told you that the immune system and cancer have nothing to do with each other. Today, it's recognized not only that the immune system and cancer interact extensively, but that the immune system, in many cases, is a more valuable resource for treating cancer than are the chemotherapy and radiation treatments we've been administering to cancer patients for decades. This kind of sudden sea change in knowledge and understanding occurs in clinical medicine very rarely. It's the kind of generational revolution none of us will see again in our lifetimes. Within the field of immuno-oncology, my specific expertise is in the biology of an immune cell type known as a dendritic cell. Though many of you may never before have heard of dendritic cells, biomedical researchers have been studying them and experimenting with their use in cancer therapy for almost 50 years. The discovery of dendritic cells was first reported in 1973 by Dr. Ralph Steinman, a discovery for which Dr. Steinman was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 2011. For those unfamiliar with what dendritic cells are and what they can do, try to imagine your immune system as a hierarchy composed of many different workers, just like an institution or a corporation. Most of the people who work in the corporation are performing specific tasks as dictated to them by higher levels of middle managers. But above the middle managers, the real decisions are made by the corporate executives in the C-suite. These executives at the top of the corporate pyramid are constantly monitoring market conditions and using real-time data to make big decisions about where the company is going and what its workers and managers will be doing with their time at any given moment. If you want to have any impact on the activities of the corporation, you need to influence the big decision makers, not the middle managers, and definitely not the individual workers. As you have almost certainly guessed from this analogy, it's the dendritic cells that are the corporate executives of the immune system. These are the cells that monitor the data, make the big decisions, and tell the rest of the immune system what to do, or more importantly, what not to do. The first clinical trial that used dendritic cells to treat cancer was published in 1995, but the results were not very exciting. Hundreds of subsequent dendritic cell clinical trials also produced very poor results. But that was a really long time ago, almost 25 years. We didn't know it at the time, but we know now that the early results weren't particularly good because we did not yet understand the biology of dendritic cells well enough to use them effectively. Today, in 2018, companies like APAC Biotech are capitalizing on a much deeper understanding of dendritic cell biology and shaping a much different clinical experience. We are programming these corporate executives in just the right fashion so as to generate meaningful immune responses against tumors. Based on a 2014 clinical study, the Indian CDSCO approved the use of APAC's dendritic cell immunotherapy protocol for the treatment of stage four prostate, ovarian, lung, and colon cancer patients. These treatments have made a real and meaningful difference in many patients' lives, extending median survival of terminal cancer patients by almost a year, and in some cases, even generating a curative response. APAC is producing the kinds of exciting results originally envisioned by the field, and I'm looking forward to capitalizing on many of APAC's successes in my own dendritic cell clinical studies that will begin shortly at several major medical centers throughout the United States and in the near future. Thank you.